Hi. In the previous part, we discussed shape-making tools that Melder Production use in oscillators. This time, we'll talk about tone sculpting features. When we're creating a new sound, we usually start from common waveforms like a sine, saw, pulse, and triangle. And oscillators from Melder Production possess all of them and more. Simply right-click on the main panel to see them. However, you're not limited to these waves. Click on the harmonics button on the left. It opens you a completely new type of synthesis, additive. This synthesis allows you to work with a wave at harmonics level. That gives you an incredible power over a sound design. However, it can be very time consuming too. Fear not, very soon you'll learn some smart tools that will considerably lighten your job. First thing to notice are two panels, level and phase. These are classic panels you can find in every additive synthesizer. The top one is where you can set a level of each harmonic and the bottom panel is for changing harmonics phase. Blue strips define octave frequency harmonics. Let's take Abe 4 note as an example. Its fundamental frequency is 440 Hz and it's presented by the first blue strip. The second strip will be one octave up, that is 880 Hz. The third strip, fourth harmonic, is at 1760 Hz, which is one octave higher than 880 Hz and so on. In the top left corner, we find the harmonic slider defining a quantity of harmonics we can currently work with. Up to 256 harmonics can be set here. Obviously, the more harmonics you set, the more CPU resources are used. It's not always when you hear all harmonics that you see all the panels. For example, when you play high notes on a MIDI keyboard, there's a good chance that some top harmonics won't get generated. Bear it in mind if you feel that your editing doesn't match what you hear. Now, let's talk about tools. Pushing the random button generates a totally new row of harmonics. It's a good assistant if you got stuck in an additive synthesis. For a subtle randomization, use Control click Don't forget to move the harmonic slider to the left and right, as this function generates 256 harmonics all together. The next panel we're about to learn is the harmonics generator. Click on the generator button to open it. This is the tool I'll be talking about and it lets you generate the whole sequence of harmonics and is controlled by much more straightforward parameters than editing the harmonics manually. The first, harmonicity, controls the ratio between the blue marked harmonics and the rest. At 100%, mostly blue or natural harmonics, according to Melder Productions terminology, are allowed. At 0%, all harmonics are given a chance to appear and at minus 100%, all but blue are preferred. The slope sets low-high harmonics level ratio. Values close to minus 100% tend to sound more natural as high harmonic levels are lowered, whereas values above zero produce a very bright sound as their high-frequency content is much higher by level than the low one. The fullness controls a quantity of generated harmonics. The higher the value, the higher the quantity. The fundamental sets the lowest level for a fundamental. Each time when you generate a new wave, its fundamental won't be lower than this value. Pressing the random seed button creates a completely new wave. There is a difference between this button and the randomize that we learned before. The random seed generates a new set of harmonics, whereas the randomize button, besides creating harmonics, randomizes all controllers in the harmonics generator.
Besides these two, there is one more button. Pressing on which will randomize every single parameter in the oscillator. It's located here. Let's move on to the sample analyzer. The panel allows you to select a part of an audio file to use it as a new wave. First, open an audio file by clicking on the Load File button. In the open browser, point the path to the audio file and click on the button with a tick. In a short time, the file's waveform will appear in the sample panel. To select a part of it, click on and move a red cursor. For fine movements, use Control click You can also zoom in on the waveform. Make sure the sample ratio is 100%. Note, you are not hearing the sample itself, but its conversion. That means, when you're done with finding a sample you like, you don't need to worry about the location of the original audio file, as all that the sample analyzer needs is the data about harmonics level and phase which you've already extracted. The sample ratio parameter sets the transition point from the sample you are selecting here to the wave created by the harmonics generator. Note, you aren't mixing two waves together, rather one wave is morphing into the other. The averaging parameter helps with the sample analysis accuracy. Higher settings supposedly gives a better result, however, I find it rather as an extra tool for making new waveforms. It's quite conceivable that you'll find your favourite wave at the averaging equals 1.0. The detection mode defines the algorithm used to a sample properties detection. Quick mode is the most CPU efficient. Other two are similar in terms of CPU power consumption, however, they give different results. Again, Use is rather a creative tool. If you like the result, that's all that matters. The last panel we're going to learn is the post processor. In a signal flow, it stands after the sample ratio controller. Simply put, the generator and sample analyzer produce a set of harmonics and a post processor lets you modify it somehow. The sharpen function works as a harmonic compressor expander. Negative values compress harmonics magnitudes and positives expand them. The noise adds some random harmonics to the original wave and thus can make it sound richer. The clean parameter works like a spectral gate effect. It sets a threshold. Harmonics with levels below the threshold will be muted. The compress parameter works similar to the sharpen when it takes negative values. There is a subtle difference, so see what suits you best. The last parameter, harmonize, creates additional high harmonics based on the original ones and first of all, those blue or natural harmonics. We finally learned all parameters, and I think you'll agree if I say so myself, there are not many oscillators out there that are as sophisticated as the oscillators from Melda Production. The shape-making possibilities are incredible. The tone sculpting options are easy to grasp, and there are so many of them. As always, when it comes to products from Melda Production, the only limit is your imagination. Happy new sound making.